expert little scientist week at the Imagination Station. We've got Sarah in this morning. She's something we're all familiar with, especially this time of the year. It's static electricity. Yeah. Sarah, good morning. Good morning. So, like you said, we're pretty familiar, especially this time of year. You know, if you shuffle you, across you, the carpet. You get the shock on the hand when you touch yeah. the doorknob. It, it's a jolt. It's a shock. And, ah. Right. And this is actually something we've talked about a little bit before when I brought that big machine with, like, the dome on yes. it. Yes. Yes. So it's the same principle that we're talking about here. So um, what I want you to do is you're going to take your balloon and uh, we're going to actually build up a charge. So I'm actually just going to like rub this on my sleeve. You could do it on the head Yeah, too. you could do it on your hair. And so what we're doing is uh, our balloon started out as a neutral charge. And now what we're doing is we're transferring, um, you know, some either extra positive or extra negative charges into our balloon. Okay. All right. Now our balloon should be pretty well charged up. Now our pop can is also neutrally charged right now. So what I'm going to do is I can lay this down and if I bring my balloon a little bit close, watch what happens. So I don't even have to touch it, but what happens is my pop can is going to start to move. So go ahead and okay. try yours. Here we go. So what you're doing is you're actually um, causing a reaction. We know that opposites attract and like things repel. So when we charged up our balloon, we bring it close to that pop can. <laughs> That's I got, okay. I got a little aggressive there. <laughs> That's okay. What happens is we're kind of uh, moving or shifting around the uh, charges that are inside. Mm -hmm. So to kind of show you what happens, I have this diagram. Okay. Now you can see my positive and my negative charges here um, are represented by each color. So let's say that my orange balloon is a positive charge. So if opposites attract and like things repel, that means that all of the yellow ping pong balls are going to try and move toward my balloon. And so um, I'm going to pull the yellow ones and I want you to shift to the orange ones to your side. Okay. Do, remember, I still need to, do I need to recharge nope, this? Nope. We're just going to push them. Okay. All right. So what's happening is as these redistribute, now we've got all of our charges separating just like this. Gotcha. Okay. And now you can see that they're kind of separate. All right. So our opposites, whoa, picking up all kinds of things over here. Um, our opposites kind of align to one side. Okay. Now, you say that we have all of these other charges on the other side, so they should be like pushing the opposite way, right? Right. But these are just a little bit closer, so that means that that charge or that um, force is just a little bit stronger, so okay. it pulls it. And that's how we move that balloon. Okay. Gotcha. So we're done with balloons. Get those out of here. Um, now, we can do the same thing with a fun fly stick. All right, now this has batteries in it, so when you hit that button on the handle, what's going to happen is it's going to start to build up a charge inside the wand, okay? And then we can actually transfer that charge to... So what is going on? I, I, I can hear the little yeah, humming. Yeah, you can hear it moving. Um, there's actually like a small wheel in there, and it's running, and it kind of skips a beat, and that throws an extra charge up into the wand. Gotcha. Okay, so we're letting those build up, and then I've got these neutrally charged Ooh. small conductive pieces of plastic. Okay. Okay, so when I drop this, I'm going to let it hit my wand to transfer that charge. And then, remember, opposites uh, attract and like things repel. So since that has the same charge, it wants to push it away. All right. You want to try? Yes, I okay, do. Okay, so go ahead. I'm going to drop that down. Oh, there you go. And you can see that kind of like spreads out and makes that really big shape. And that's because all of those branches have the same charge now. So they want to push away from each other as much as possible. Okay, and uh, we actually sell fun fly sticks in our store, so if you need something for a snow day, um, you can actually order them from us. They're only $20, and if you call today, uh, you can actually get it shipped to you for only an additional $5. How about that? Yeah. Boy, I tell you, this could entertain the kids for quite some time. Yeah, and it kind of levitates there because the force of gravity is pulling it down, and our charges are trying to counterbalance that. So as it tries to push away from your static wand... Now, I will notice something. My, yeah. my other one, as it fell, it hit me on the nose, and I got a little shock. Yeah. So this will actually have a little bit of a charge in it then, Exactly. Correct? Gotcha. So, ooh, sometimes they get a lot of charge and you gotta shake them off there and try so again. So you guys are always having fun at the Imagination oh, yeah. Station. Little Scientist Week continues on? It is. It's actually starting on Tuesday. Okay. Um, and this year we're actually going with the dinosaur theme to kind of tie into our traveling exhibit right now. So we've got all kinds of things for your littlest paleontologist. All right. We know where to find you, just down the street here, downtown Toledo. Sarah, thanks yep. so much for coming on in and Thank joining you. us. We will come right back with more W211 Your Day in just a moment.